Yes, my people, good day. Let's do an undercar inspection on this Porsche Boxster. Let's go. Let's start from the front to the back. You're on the right front wheel here. First thing that jump out at me, you see that strut right there? See how it wet compared to this strut over here? Look at that. Why oi? Look at that. This one dry and that one leaking. You don't need a strut on this one. I'm certain that it's bouncy in this right front corner. Looking at the brake caliper here. Brake pads look good. Look kind of decent. See them cross drilled and slotted rotors. Look upon the control arm. Not look crazy. This thing isn't brand new. It has some miles on it. So not look too crazy. This one here. Looking fine. Okay. One, two tires. We have on good tires. So we don't see anything else. All right. Take a look at all of these elaborate piping you see going on here. That has to do with coolant. Engine in the back. The radiators up front. So it brings these pipes all the way up front into. Boom. See in there? That's where the radiators are. And then also the AC condenser is in there. We have one on this side and we have one on this side. See how much venting? See all this plastic here? Directing the air onto the brake rotors. Keep these things cool. This is a performance car. Even though everybody driving them around every day. But this is a street car, which is a race car. This is the fuel tank right here that we're looking at. All right, the fuel tank is right above it. The fuel tank is in the front on the Porsche. We are fitting 100 pounds of stuff in a 10 pound bag. So that's why everything looks so neat and uniform under here. We have the coolant lines. We have the breather line for the overflow bottle. We have AC lines. Everything is stuffed into this little packaging. Fuel lines here, power steering line here. So we have a little leak. Going on here with the power steering, nothing too major, but it's still breathing a little bit. What else we have on here? Okay, what we got? Oh, uh, we have the fuel filter. Not too sure if you can see it, but the fuel filter is tucked up above these coolant lines here. Kind of difficult. There it is. There it is. There it is. That's where the fuel filter is. All right, what else we got? Nothing else to talk about. I said the tires look good. Let me work ourselves further back. All right. We have the boxer engine. We have three exhaust ports on this side. And we have three exhaust ports on that side. We have the CAT oxygen sensor. This is for the oil filter. It's a cartridge style. So that's the oil filter there. Another CAT oxygen sensor. Boom. This is the axle that we changed today because it was leaking. The boots were leaking, making a mess, so we changed that. Look at this one over here. It is closely behind, so it is going to need replacing too. A very early date. All right. What we look like with tires? We do have good tires on this thing, though. Tires are in good shape. Um, this is how it looks under here. This is that Porsche stuff, boy. The engine is in the back. Skid plates, not just a skid plate. It also helps to reinforce the lower side. This is the oil pan. That's the drain plug right there. That's where you change the oil. Transmission is all the way back there. All right. Radiator hoses. This one right here. And this one right there. Look decent. Nothing look too crazy. I don't see too many leaks going on on there. This thing is in fairly good shape, honestly. Yeah. So, can't really make a grocery list on this thing. Not like some of these other cars that we've been looking on here. That is it. These struts are dry back here, so I don't think they're too bad. Ignition coil. Yeah, man. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, bless. Yeah. And don't forget to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel.